on this week's episode. We head to Prospect Mountain Campground in Granville, Massachusetts. This campground is located around 10 minutes or so right across the Connecticut state line, bottom of Massachusetts. Small town, one convenience store, and that's it. Well, let's check in here and get the ball rolling because we've got a lot to show you here. Hello, everybody. We're in Massachusetts this week and we are at a private campground. It's called Prospect Mountain. We had a little debacle when we first started. We booked this maybe in February and the site that we had, it was on the water. It was pretty, but we couldn't fit the van on there. Um, but anyhow, there was a few that we really liked and we were able to get one of them and it's number 47. And look at that view. There's all this wildlife here. There's frogs, little fish. I mean, every stage of frogs too. I'm gonna be like a little kid here. I always love playing on the little water stuff. But anyways, so we're gonna go check this campground out for you. See if this one fits your family's needs. Let's go. We made it. We're at our site, Site 47. We're about to set up and go explore. Or we thought. I don't know, guys. It's windy, but look at that sunshine up there. Maybe, maybe it'll pass us. But you guys know that we bring the rain. How many times have I said this? Whoa. The rain is a coming. We're going to hurry up and go get some sights to show you guys in a might have to wrap it up and finish tomorrow. It's all right, but the wind is coming. It's coming, I can feel it. Yup, you guessed it. It rained our first day. We set up camp and sat in the van for the rest of the night. <laughs> but here we are, day two, and the weather is supposed to be beautiful. Lee's still getting her beauty rest, so I'm gonna have a cup of coffee and hang out and watch the fishing tournament. There was a little rain last night and I swear it brought like the fall because you can feel it. <laughs> it feels like fall. Some of the leaves were changing on the drive here. We saw it. We saw a couple of them and it's too soon. We still got a lot of hot, warm weather ahead of us, so we're not complaining. We're not crying and whining. We just, we don't want the season to come to an end. That's all. Right? Wow, this right. looks like a, a, yeah, a market. Good. Yeah, that's a group site, or as they refer to them as a group field. And there's several of them here. The cabins are nice here. That's another plus. Cabins are really nice. They look nice. Anyhow, they're all they're all um, booked. They literally are all booked. Right? Yeah, there's 14 of them here also. Oh, I didn't realize 14. Yeah. I know there's over 100, um, 100 seasonal sites. 14 cabins. They got a lot of a lot of camping sites. I mean, with or without electric, so you can. Get full hookups here, get the whole shebang, whatever you want, but you gotta pay. <laughs> I know a lot of you have mentioned coming to Mass, especially the state parks, they up their fees and we have avoided Mass for that reason for a while. We've come to a few and that's why we picked a private campground this round, but it actually is costing us more. So we try to be cost efficient and 
um, aware of the pricing, especially for everyone else too. We want to give you the best options, not so pricey, because anyone can pay hundreds of dollars and be at some lovely resort somewhere. We're all camping. We're camping. The pool is kept really clean. There's a lot of people, you know, there and that's a plus. We've been to some green pools in the past. So this one is, is a nice one, guys. The mini golf is actually a really nice setup that they have. It's so cute. There's a little picnic table that you can, you know, golf through the little, it's really nice. We've been to other places that have mini golf as an option, but it wasn't really, you know, it was a little, little putting place, but this one is set up really nice. It looks like it would be fun. Look at the racetrack. Oh, that is, yep. <laughs> There's an RC racetrack here if you have your little remote carts. Yeah, I don't think we've ever been to a campground that has this many amenities. Basketball, volleyball, uh, shuffleboard courts, bocce ball horseshoe pits and then there's the unheard ofs like gemstone and fossil mining sluicing rc car race tracks i mean there's definitely a little something for the whole family here God. we heard freaking splashing around and we couldn't figure out like big splashes freaking mayhem like a 300 pound man jumping <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, man. Anyhow, there is a snake and it's trying to catch stuff. And this thing is massive. Lady didn't want to go over there for the past two days. And now we see why. Here he comes. Here he comes. Time for a little Q&A from our members during our live feed. Uh, would I recommend this place to family and friends? Um, to viewers especially? Absolutely. But I will absolutely tell you, be ready to open up that wallet because um, it, it's not cheap. Um, firewood is $8 for five pieces of wood. If you're here early, you're going to pay for it. If you're here late, you're going to pay for it. Um, even just to stay on the site after you pay to stay on the site you're gonna pay for it uh, there's a 20 something dollar fee like Lee was talking about uh, just to be here on top of your original uh, site fee so guys um, I would say just get your finances in order and be prepared because this is a, a month's worth of rent trying to come down. <laughs> you know What's cool about this campground, though, is, is the amenities and the um, activities. Um, today is Saturday, and the activities have been going on since 10 this morning. They had a fishing contest, frog catching contest, pot painting contest. Um, they just came around with uh, the train, picking up all the kids. They were really, um, you know, excited. That, that's the perk of the place, if you ask me, the amenities the festivities. Another pro, they have an awesome camp store. It's a it's a nice one guys. You get everything, even slushies to sweatshirts and sweatpants. This one you can get alcohol, wine, beer. It's a full camp store. I liked it. This one is sort of a con. If you buy firewood um, they will deliver it if it's, you know, a large quantity, but just getting one or two bundles, you have to bring them yourself.
After a quick walk, we're back at our site to ponder what the next move is. And this site is amazing. It can handle anything from a class A on down. What a nice, nice, nice day. The weather is finally shining down on us with sunshine. Right. I say we hit the walk and show these guys what the sights look like. Yeah, let's check out the sights. We'll start with site 49. Here's site 49, guys. This is a star site. It's right on the, the pond. You have two levels with stairs that go down. And then down here, you go down, you have your fire pit here. And they even graveled this area. Look at this site, guys. Can't tell me this isn't gorgeous. This is site 46. It's located right next to our site, which is 47. Identical. Only difference is behind our site, we have a view of the lake. And on site 46, it's there on the left. Here's your, your cabins. Normal state park type cabins. Three of them here down at the end with the electric and water hookups outside, which is really weird, but yeah. I figured I'd give you a view from the lake side of the T section. This is T10 through 18. Now this is from the back side. There's a parking lot behind me. You'll park there and you'll walk in. This is T15. They are gorgeous sights, guys. So if you're a tenter, be sure to book here. This is a group site, as we spoke of earlier. There's 230 sites here. Some of them are wooded, others aren't. Um, but there's over 100 seasonal full-time sites here also. This is a beautiful place for uh, a seasonal resident, if you will. There are full hookup sites. Um, there's 14 cabins. There's two large restrooms, laundromat, a gift store that Lee loves. There's a propane filling station. There's a dump station. There's actually four of them here, believe it or not. Uh, there's high-speed wireless internet. It's an awesome place, guys. Here's another one of those group sites we spoke of. This is 23 through 27. Let's scurry through the seasonal section and get you back over to the weekender side. These sites are nice. Uh, I, I would have took that right there. Because you're in the middle of everything. Site 70. So 34B. You got electric and water. Fire pit, picnic table. And this switch is, is around you. Decent site. And right across you have the bathrooms. And the Only gripe we have is the cost. But this park is 100% approved. All right, guys, we're heading off. Make sure to join us next week. We're going to be in New York again. And this one's going to be exciting. It's going to be at Winter Island. Shh, don't say winter too loud because we don't want the winter to come sooner <laughs> than we want it to. But this one's going to be fun. Well, that's it, guys. This is where the road splits. Thanks for watching. We want to thank our new group members for uh, the live chat. That was really fun. So guys, make sure you tune in every Wednesday with your pen and pad so you could jot down your favorite sites. Again, thank you to our new group members that purchased their membership. 
That makes us so proud and happy. Again, thank you guys. So we'll see you next week. And until then, we love you guys. Subscribe now.